Jack. I'm Rachel. And I'm Alma. How's everyone doing tonight? <laughs> tonight we're going to hear from three bands, Breaking the Fast, Miles, and Wonder Beards. Yeah, let's go. We had a chance to sit down with Breaking the Fast this week and get to know them, so let's take a look. Um, I'm Tom, the drummer. I'm Joe, I play bass. Uh, I'm Judy Bell, I play ukulele and trombone. I'm Brittany and I sing and play guitar. I'm Matt, I've had a banjo problem for three years now. I mean, I play banjo for Breaking the Fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for joining us, yeah, guys. Thanks, guys. So tell us about your name, Breaking the Fast. How did this come about? Where did you guys get the idea? It was originally breakfast for dinner, but we found out that was taken. Yeah. Oh, really? By who? Do you know? Uh, Actually, a local band. Yeah, oh, it was okay. like a cover band that was like in the area. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like a it's like a gigging um, band in Hudson Valley. But yeah, then our friend Jackson Tollerton gave us the idea for Breaking the Fast, which is just an etymological deconstruction of the word breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just like I love the word it. breakfast. <laughs> right. Because you're breaking the fast. So do you guys write all of your music? Do you guys have one set person who writes it or all together? We try to stay pretty open to collaboration, I would say. Okay. Like if someone presents a song but someone's like, hey, I have this idea. It's like, yeah, let's go with yeah, it. Yeah, teamwork. Yeah, like the first song, Coffee, <clears throat> Joe was like, just started asking us questions. Mm -hmm. And he, <laughs> he, 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 he coffee, right? Yeah, and he <laughs> found out that like the thing missing from all of our lives was like not enough coffee. So then we ended up writing a song together about coffee. And then, like, um, other like other songs, I know you wrote a song by yourself, and then Brittany wrote a song by herself, so, like, it's kind of, we do everything, like, write together, together and together. write separately. Are you guys working on anything? Yeah. Anything new? Yeah, there's that you can tell us about? Got some new stuff. Yeah, we might be debuting a new song, um, probably... Maybe at the Lobby, or I don't know. Just uh, probably our next gig after the after yeah. after mm -hmm. after the artist management, we have a gig at the Hudson Hudson, Hudson River Coffee House. Yeah, and yeah. We're, and we're gonna be debuting a new song there called Tea in the Book. Um, it's one that I wrote, and we've been working on it a little bit. It's cool. like ska cool. a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How would you describe your music? Like what what kind of music are your other than breakfast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Our genre is breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Pioneers at the breakfast genre. I like it. I like it. It's great. But it's if original. we wanted to, if you wanted to have someone listen to your music, what would you? How would you pull them in? Um, we like to say that we're alt indie folk. Okay. That general vicinity. Right. Um, we have a lot of different fusions from different genres. Like it's kind of it's funny because each of us kind of comes from a different genre. We each have different types, like of music that we like. Mm -hmm. Like Joe specifically likes a lot of blues and yep. jazz music. Funk, blues, jazz, all that. Yeah, yeah. Matt's very punk and ska. Mm -hmm. um, you're very alternative and just like rock. Tom's very just jam band. Like yeah, I'm kind of like groove. spread out. So you like try and mix it all together. Yeah, yeah it's incorporate. Usually, it's a mixture of that, and mm -hmm. and we have a little like added folk twist with the banjo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. and, and everything being acoustic. Yeah. yeah. So how did you guys find each other and kind of put Smith. all of your all of your breakfast foods together? It was fun. <laughs> yeah, we were in a uh, music business survey together. Mm -hmm. um, With um, Sister Marianne Nelson, yeah. which is Sman. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> we all say it. Like, oh, no, yeah, I was like, like, what is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's She's a awesome. required class for uh, freshman music industry majors to take, and all of us were taking it together. So we all met there. Um, yeah, and we were all and we all used to live in Brew. Mm -hmm. I don't live in Brew anymore, but. Um, and we would just have jam sessions on the second floor lounge, yeah. in the second floor lounge, and I played I guitar. I heard there were a few different. documentations on yeah. that second floor. There was yeah. one, yeah. <laughs> hey, but we got a follow out of it because like we went to the meeting and he was like, "Oh, I'll like you guys on Facebook." And so <laughs> that's a good story, yeah. right? It's kind of yeah. worth it at that point. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Speaking of Facebook, um, if we wanted to find you on social media and listen to your music, where can we get in contact with you? Okay. Twitter's happening. Oh, yeah. uh, once we have. Uh, music, we're going to set up a band, band camp. camp. Definitely. Okay. Um, oh, that's so that's cool. probably going to be over the summer. Right. Okay. So we expect a lot more from you guys, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. we do. Well, thank All you right. for joining us tonight.
and knives reach out but you won't grab hold We'd like to thank the comm department for having us here and artist management. You guys are really awesome. So I'd like to introduce the band. Over here on bass, we got Joe Benevento. We got Matt Reese on banjo. Tom Evans on drums. Judy Bell on the ukulele and trombone. You're about to hear that. And I'm Brittany. <laughs> This next song is called Hash Browns and Heartbreak. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
I'm just tuning it out. Maybe I'm just going deaf. So now I look to the flashing headlight as this ghost stories high on the ceiling in the bad part of town. Think to myself that there should be no sleep in my head. Thank you. How are you guys doing tonight? Yeah. Feeling energized? Yeah. You know, today's been a pretty long day. I mean, I could use something, you know? Yeah, me too, actually. I'm feeling a little beat. We've been doing a lot of preparing for this, you know? I mean, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Yeah, so I need more than breakfast, though. I need more than food. Like yeah. some caffeine in me or something. Yeah, you Maybe know, something some to, like, you know, energize me? No, I need something stronger than tea, Joe. Mm. I think I know what we need. Follow my lead. One, two. starting to feel it now.
working the fast. Oh. <laughs> Let's give it up one more time for breaking the fast, everybody. <laughs> After that performance, I'm a little hungry. I could use some eggs, some coffee. Yeah. I think I could use some Miles. Yeah, woo! <laughs> hey, Rachel, ever wonder how Miles got his name? Actually, I was. But luckily, we got to sit down with him this week and hear about how he got started. Everyone at home, take a look. Hey, we're here with Brian. How are you doing? I am splendid. How are you? Good, good. Great. Awesome. So you're with Miles, correct? That is correct. And can you kind of just give us a little background about yourself and your music? Yeah, uh, well, as far as the Miles stuff goes, it's uh, hip hop based, some R&B kind of stuff. And I just got, I've always been really into hip hop since like high school. And I never really uh, took action to make it myself and finally I was like, you know what, like I have this laptop, I've got this little keyboard and a microphone, let's do it. <laughs> so I did it and yeah, that's what I'm doing now. That's uh, awesome. That's awesome. So you knew from a really young age that you wanted to get into music for yeah. a really long time? I mean, I've been playing music since I was in elementary school. Like I joined like school band and all that jazz like a lot of people do. Um, but then I just, I just really got into it and started uh, picking it up in different ways, started singing and like writing my own songs and not just playing like my school instrument. And then from there, it's just like, I have all these songs, so I might as well learn to record them and do it myself, so. Now, did you come to St. Rose to pursue your music career? Yeah, I did. Um, I entered St. Rose as a music industry student and okay. now I'm actually a performance student. I switched my major, but still music. What does that entail as a performance student here? What kind of things do you have to do? Less credits, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> but more practicing, which is, but that's nice because you get better at your craft, you know? That's good. Yeah, that's not, it is How good. often do you practice? Uh, I mean, different portions of the craft, different amounts. Like drum set is like my main instrument that, I, that I'll like sit down and practice. And that I'll, I'll practice like a couple hours a day. I have it set up in my living room. My neighbors don't like it, but <laughs> it's cool. So um, going off of that, what instruments do you play other than? I don't. I don't want to lie on television and be like, "Yo, I'm great at all these instruments." But it's <laughs> like, if I write a song on an instrument, I'll play it well enough to record it myself, so I don't have to ask somebody else to come in to do it. So, so pretty much, you like piano a little bit enough to record, like, and do make all the music and stuff like guitar, bass, it's like if I hear something, I'll figure it out and do it. So for all your songs, you record your own music? Mm -hmm. Now if you're playing live, do you play these instruments or we usually have it background? Uh, so it's kind of different with the hip hop stuff. It's like I could do everything by myself if I wanted. I have like a live setup, a main stage through my laptop and I can do everything from like one little keyboard. Um, or I can have a live band with me. Now your name, your stage name, Miles. Mm -hmm. um, I see you have an exclamation point as the I. Is yes. there anything, any story behind there that? There is no story. It is simply for aesthetics. <laughs> Nothing whatsoever. <laughs> Nothing whatsoever. Oh, it's just so like cute. that's it looks an cool. I. What if we cool. turn it upside down, right? I liked it. How'd you come up with Miles? Uh, there's no story behind that either. I was just chilling. I was like, yo, got this song I just recorded. Should probably put it on the internet. What's something <laughs> like? What's like a catchy name that I can release right. it under? I was like, I don't know. This is short. We could turn the eye upside down. Let's go, go for it. Um, now your song, Butter. Yeah. Uh, I liked it. I really enjoyed oh, it. I thought it was fun. Enjoyed cool. All of Thank you. Yeah, no, that was, <laughs> that was a personal that. favorite, but though. That was one Thank of you. our favorites. Give us a little insight into your process right. for making that song. Um, well, that one is just like, I was just like, I want to I wanna do something that's less rap based and more like singing with right. the hook being sung. Um, just like a little more melodic because I know a lot of people aren't necessarily into just listening to someone rapping over beats and stuff. That mm -hmm. gets old to a lot of people. So I want to, I want more people to listen to my music. I mean, that's the end game here. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah. I'm doing this because I want to share it with people. So it's like, if I can make it more accessible to more people, why not? Where right. can we check out your music? If um, to? So I've got a Facebook page, Miles on Facebook. SoundCloud is exclamation, exclamation point. point. That's right. But you can find all my social media stuff by just typing in at Miles Hip Hop. That's okay. the easiest way to do it because of the confusion with the exclamation point. Awesome.
to give a shout out to uh, the dude that helped me get on this. That's Will Hahn. He's been working with me this semester. I've been his artist for artist management. So thank you very much, Will. Thank you to the artist management classes and the communications department for putting all this together. It's very exciting. I'm gonna sing a little something for you now. I ain't no scholar, I don't write no books. I just spend my money on the last girl, honey, now she hates my guts. I pay my rent late, so my landlord's angry. And all this shit keeps piling up and trying to hack me. Get my loving on the front. Don't you try to slow me down and walk around, yeah. I'm sick of trying to strum along with your love songs. So leave me here to pour another drink out the rocks. All of this will hold you down until the ground, until you're drowning in your sorrows with the bottle of rice. All of this will hold you down into the ground until you're crawling on the gravel like a regular guy with a bottle of rye. I ain't got no savior. I ain't got no time. I know I'm stuck with a problem that'll come through and swallow up my last dime. And all I wanted was some peace and quiet. So get me out of here before I start a rocket. Lost my reason. I done lost my way. I done sat here for hours and heard all the songs that the jukebox played. So keep your sunny days away from me and I'll pour the liquor down and smile while I say life's been on the rocks. Stop taking my last shot at holding on to life's been on the rocks. I'm taking my last shot at holding. On to all of this will hold you down into the ground until you're drowning in your sorrows with the bottle of rye. Like a regular guy. Thank you all so much. I want to introduce the guys in the band. Uh, this is Tony Berman on the bass guitar to my left. Slapping the bass, yeah. Give it up for Tony. To be honest, the, the, the man behind me playing the drums has never told me his real name and refuses to, but I think it's something like Franz Winston or Franz the Celestial Alien of the Drum Kid. I don't know. It's Franz something. My name is Brian. I go by Miles when I'm rhyming into a microphone. Gonna do that now, in fact. Here we go. To set the scene, the year was 93. A loving young couple starts a family. A baby boy with brown hair and big dimples. The miracle of life is so goddamn simple. It's just a trick and everybody knows it. A quick sleight of hand and kazam, it's over. Or rather, a quick flick of the wrist from a Harry Potter fan who had never been kissed. So, one Christmas Eve, a young daredevil and his family are feeding. He smoked a little who hash. The bad tidings and roast beasts were being passed. The Adderall, it finally made him crash. And his body felt like whiplash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then his body felt like whiplash, but it isn't over, it isn't over yet. So all you gamblers, place your bets. An 18-year-old calamity 
Questionable conscience was on, he's a zombie. He's Jack Torrance in the Overlook Hotel, running mazes through places that might have been hell, might have been held down by his mind for a minute. All the marijuana puts his head back in it. This up in the clouds, only breathing sour, staring at the same dirty stain for hours. Cut to the shower, I ain't afraid to die. He thinks as he washes the soap from his eyes. In his head, he's a superhero, has been zero. A tough talking tall, walking young Robert De Niro. Robin De Niro, spitting hot like a habanero. Between the eyes, our boy is sharper than an arrow. It's getting a little bit dark there for a second, so we're gonna lighten the mood. You can find all of these songs on my SoundCloud, Miles SoundCloud, Miles on Facebook, Miles Hip Hop on Instagram. Please check out the social media, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you all so very much. We've got one last tune for you. This one you can uh, you can find on the internet as well. It's called Butter. I like this one, it's about a girl. She got lips like a lover. I got time like a sucker. She talks smooth like butter. And I'm drunk again. She got lips like a lover. I got time like a sucker. She talks smooth like butter. And I'm drunk again. Every time we get to vibing, I get to thinking The night is gonna end in sirens cause we've been drinking Now she's driving me crazy with all of her class Lipstick redder than the lights that we've been running Rushing the clock but we gon' be up till the sun is Creeping in through the shade Let me clueless, now we're cruising, cruising. Yeah, and I sense a little chemistry. Water white when I'm mixing up the Hennessy. Love doctors dishing out a couple remedies. Sing me happy birthday like my name is Kennedy. Grenadine uh, is sour, as in the diesel. Then we fast and furious for hours. Drop the needle, blast the funk until they cut the power. Like a lover, I got time like a 
sucker She talks to it like butter And I'm drunk again I got time like a sucker She talks to it like butter And I'm drunk again Thank you all so much. Once again, we've been Miles. Give it up for breaking the fast and the Wonder Beards. Thank you all for uh, jiving with us this evening. Appreciate it. Check us out on the internet. All that jazz. She got lips like a lover. I got time like a sucker. She talks smooth like butter. -er. And now I'm drunk again. dancing. Been Miles and the F Word Band. Hope you all have a great night. <laughs> Thank you all so much. It's greatly appreciated. Hello. Have a lovely evening. Up next, we have the Wonder Beards. Wait, Wonder Bread? No, 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 Wonder Beards. But they did have a problem with Wonder Bread. Let's take a look how they figured that out. We're here with the Wonder Beards. Thanks for joining us, guys. Of course. I'm Chris. I'm Tom. I play guitar. And I play everything else. I sing a little as well. I do not do that. <laughs> So it's, it's a one-man show over guys. here. No, I'm just <laughs> so how did you guys meet, get started? Uh, we, we met at community college. Okay. In uh, the area? Yeah, where uh, did you guys Adirondack. Go? Okay. It's now SUNY Adirondack. Used to be ACC. And uh, <laughs> I was in some department at the time. I don't remember. And you, you were mean, like the guy that slept on the couch yeah. in the hallway. Yeah. <laughs> and you were the guy that always talked to the guy that slept on the couch. <laughs> And look where it got us. Exactly. Right? And really. how'd your name come about? I'm going to yeah. assume maybe it has something with the beards. I'm not That's sure. my guess. I don't know. <laughs> this question comes up all the time, and we actually didn't even, we were trying to come up with, like, an actual, like, no, this is a serious name. Because if you listen to the music, we're, we're, we're funny guys. We like to have fun. But every time we put pen to paper, like, it's a pretty serious tune. And we're mm -hmm. like, oh, well, maybe we should have a kind of serious name. So we booked our first gig without a name. And the guy oh, who, <laughs> <laughs> well, the guy who booked it was like, well, what do I call you? And we were debating back and forth, back and forth, yeah. back and forth. And he goes, well, I just put a giant sign up in the window that says the Incredible Wonder Beards and Andy, because there was what? a third guy. At it, was, it was uh, the Glorious Wonder Beards and Andy. Oh, the Glorious. And he couldn't ha grow a beard, so he just excluded him from the oh. So you got rid of him. Andy. He's no, gone. He has twins. He's, he's got a so place he's in like, the still. Oh. Oh. He's like, I have responsibilities, and these things like will die if I'm not around. How would you describe your music? What kind? If Genre. any random person on the street, you're like, we're the Wonder Beards, and we do this. We like to treat. Oh, did you, did you, uh, yeah, you can. I, 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 <laughs> we like to keep it kind of simple because there's like over categorization now. Like you've got like I don't know, trip hop dub funk, and you're like I don't know what that is exactly. Oh my so God. <laughs> you I'm already lost. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> well, yeah. See, that's the exactly. thing. You get lost. So I usually just say we're like alternative folk rock, and then if they ask anything further, because usually they just want to get away from me, I say you know. You know, we, we play, it's mostly acoustic music, but there is a drum set, and it's it's loud, hard folk music. What about your lyrics? Do you both write your own lyrics, or do you write it together? Yeah. yeah. The How does that process work? We, we, we tend to, like, he'll come to me with an idea or something and be like, okay, like, this is what I'm working on, and then I'll do some stuff with it, and then he'll do some more stuff with it, and then we'll just kind of match up in the middle, mm -hmm. yeah. and just throw this thing together. It's working. Yeah, and then yeah. just kind of yeah. tear it apart from there and make it 
like, yeah, make it. We have it something off. great, and then we're gonna rip it to shreds, <laughs> yeah, and then we're gonna put it back together. Yeah, again. I mean, like we clean it up a bit, and then that's eventually like about I'd say like a couple months down the road, like that's our final product. Yeah, like usually we play it out a few times, and then we go, oh, you know, it would be really cool is if we did this, and then we play it some more, and then we play it some more, and then we go, oh, okay, we should probably record it. This is how it's gonna be. And then we record it, and we go, that sucks. Yeah, like let's do it this way. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your handle for all your social media? Is the same thing or? Just the Wonder Beards? Yeah, there's not a whole lot of other things that exist as the Wonder Beards online. Uh, so if you punch in most of the name correctly, you'll probably get us as the Find first you. thing. So you're going to get other. probably the Wonder Years, like right under us. Yeah, we got in trouble yes. with Wonder Bread when we yeah. first started because I actually, <laughs> wow. I utilized part of their logo and put uh, a beard on it. And uh, that's funny. And then we had this person contact us on on Facebook. Well, I liked said, your page because I thought it was my old job, but then I realized that it wasn't that. So <laughs> and we were like, Gee, no, we got to get rid of it. Yeah, we have no. to go. Not yeah. happening. Well, thank you so much. I can't wait to listen to some more of your music. Um, Me too. You guys were great. Thank yeah. you for joining us. We really yeah, like the thank beards. You. Thank you. I really am going to work on mine. All the things of which I cannot get enough The one that hurts me the most Is her love and it's gone now Don't know how and it's never coming back I believe Looking for Of all the things that my mom taught, just be careful with your heart. But don't forget to let them in when they deserve it. Well, I guess that I fall in love more off than not. And it's all my goddamn fault. Looking for love in all the wrong places. I see this. the Wonder Beards, thank you so much for coming out. As everybody else said, the communications department and the artist management group has done a really awesome job with this, so thank you all so much for being here. This is very cool what you do. Where it shouldn't go 
And everyone's got secrets that they shouldn't hold. You can turn it to silver, you can turn it to gold. But these are the things that'll leave you alone. Yeah, these are the things that'll leave you alone. Yes, her bark is worse than her bite. Yes, her bark is worse than her bite. So just keep your mouth shut and try to sleep tight. And everything's gonna turn out all right. Every little thing's gonna turn out all right. Every mind wanders, maybe mine more than some. There's no use explaining what I have done. But don't ever think you are in the one. You don't you dare think you are in the one. Keep your chin up. If you just dip your toes in, but stay on the beat, your dreams will forever be right out of reach. Your dreams will forever be right out of reach. When the going gets tough, the tough they get going. In a roundabout way, and every day will remain the same. And that's why each day will remain the same. Every mind wanders when it happens to me. I know you get angry and you want me to leave. So I just grab my and I'll let go of the door. You won't be seeing me anymore. You won't be seeing me anymore. You won't be seeing me anymore. Thank you. Thank you to Miles. That was awesome. It kind of relaxed me before coming up here. It was really nice. All right, uh, we're gonna play like those were two brand new songs. This is a new song, or no, <laughs> those are two brand new songs. This is an old one. It's just the whole time this D chord, and then just oh, no, no, I thought you're still looking. All right. To be disheartened It only makes you harder Take them back, get mad Get sad, then get gone It's okay to be disheartened Well, I never met 
a failure that I could not be told was myself. To be disheartened But it's okay To be disheartened It only makes you harder Take the bad, get mad Sad and get gone. Well, it's okay to be disheartened. Yeah, it's okay to be disheartened. And another round of applause for Miles and Breaking the Fast. Woo! And thank you to you guys for coming out tonight. Woo! And thank you to you guys at home who watched. Yeah. I'm Elma. I'm Rachel. Have, Have a, a good, good night. night. What I need, I'll make it mine. So stop wasting all my time and stop trying to sell me shit. Made in China, it all breaks. Made in Probably not all that hard to make, so stop trying to sell me shit. I don't want it anymore. I'll return it to your store and I'll have to stop buying shit. Thank you so much. This has been great. We're the Wonder Beards. Check us out. We're all over. You know, if you Google us, it'll be great.
Get back. 